Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I'm Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So first of all, happy Diwali to all of you because I know when this video will be light, that is on 12th of November. That is uh, the Diwali day. So that's why I wish you and all of your family members a very happy Diwali. Now, as you know from the thumbnail that this video is important for gate DA preparation. That means for data science and AI paper preparation. And in this video, I'll talk about few references from where you will, you can practice questions for your uh, DA paper for which you will be appearing in GATE 2024. So all of you know who is preparing for GATE exam that IIC Bangalore has introduced a new paper this time that is Data Science and AI or in short DA and many of the students are actually interested on, on appearing for this particular paper but all the major issues with this paper is lack of available sample papers from where you can practice questions. This is the first time this paper is introduced in GATE exam so that's why there is no previous year question paper available uh, unlike other subjects where we have ample amount of previous year question paper available from where you can practice questions and this previous year question papers are actually standard question paper which is you know prepared by IIT professors so you can rely on those question papers but unfortunately for DA paper there is no such question paper available IIC has released a couple of sample question paper but that's not sufficient as you understand if you if you want to take your papers in the highest level you need a lot and lot of practice but just two question paper is not sufficient for that on the other hand coaching institutions they're also kind of struggling to set question paper because you know most of the time these coaching institutions they try to understand the pattern from the previous year questions and then they set up the question as their mock test paper or any other question paper that they provide but as for da paper there is no you know previous year question paper available they are also struggling to understand the understand the pattern and set up a question bunch uh, for, for, for the student. So that's why it's a major issue for those aspirants uh, who is willing to appear for DA paper that they are not getting enough sample question papers from where they can practice questions and they can understand where they are standing, whether their concepts on AI machine learning or probability statistics are really good or not. So that verification they are not able to do. So that's why in this video, I will be giving you some references, some resources from where you can practice uh, your different questions. And these question papers are set by IIT people only, uh, IIT professors and ISC professors. So that's why you can rely on this question paper. So everything will be there uh, related to these references and resources that I'll be mentioning in this video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned in the video till end. And before starting the video, I always say if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video to other aspirants also so that they also get to know about it. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. So that when I upload a new kind of video, you will get a notification. With any delay, let us start into today's video. So I'll first talk about the mathematics part of the DA paper. So you, you all know that in mathematics, uh, in the DA paper, so there is probability statistics, there is linear algebra and calculus. For this part, I would recommend you that go and solve the previous year question paper from mathematics and statistics paper. So mathematics and statistics are two of the common papers which is there in GATE exam for years now. And all of their previous year question papers are available online. Now, you, if you check the syllabus of um, the mathematics part of DA paper and the syllabus of maths and statistics, then you'll find that all of the topics that is there in mathematics part of DA is either in the stat syllabus or in the mathematics syllabus. So you'll find most of the topics from probability statistics that is already there in the statistics paper syllabus and most of the topics from linear algebra and calculus is already there in the math paper syllabus. So that's why, you know, if you solve the previous year question paper from these two papers, math and statistics, then you will, you will get enough amount of questions to solve from those topics, which is there in your DA paper syllabus in the mathematics part. You don't need to solve the full paper, obviously. Only you need to solve those questions, which is coming from the topics, which is there in the DA syllabus. So that's why I feel that if you solve those question papers, previous year question paper from math and statistics, you will get an exposure of what kind of question might be asked in the final exam because those question papers are the standard papers which has been, you know, kind of set by IIT professors in, in, the, in the previous year question paper for those two papers. So that's why I feel those previous year question papers are kind of a goldmine for you to solve probability statistics, linear algebra and calculus. Next, I will talk about data structure algorithm and database management system. So these are two papers which is common with uh, get CSE syllabus. So that's why I recommend you that you can you can solve from the previous year question paper from, from the CAC paper uh, because most of the part from DSA, data structure and algorithm and the DBMS part is actually, you know, kind of intersection of 
CS syllabus and um, DA paper syllabus. So you can solve uh, all the previous question paper from CS uh, for the data structure algorithm part and the database management system part. The only thing is for programming, you have to solve uh, Python level uh, programming because in DA paper, they will ask Python level programming. But you know, frankly, if you ask me, there is not much difference between the C programming language and Python programming language. So that's why if you solve the C programming languages uh, questions from CS paper, except the pointer part, uh, if the same question will be asked in the Python also, you should be able to answer them uh, in the final exam. So try to you know solve those questions only from the from the uh, CSA paper, uh, those uh, C programming uh, language questions, except the pointer because there is no concept of pointer in Python, and try to have a basic understandings of the Python syntax so that if the similar question will asked in Python and ask you to solve, you'll be able to solve those question paper. So for this part, fully rely on the CSE previous year question paper and all the other sets of question paper that is available for uh, CSE. So that you need to follow for data structure algorithm and DBMS. Finally, we'll talk about the most important part of the DA paper that is machine learning and AI. And most of the aspirants has the, this question that from where I, I'll practice the question from machine learning and AI. Well, this is the part where I think all the coaching institutes are even struggling because they also don't know which kind of question will be asked in the question papers in GATE 2024. So that's why they are also not able to, you know, generate enough number of question paper. And 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 most of the time you can't rely on these coaching institutes and question paper because even for the regular papers like CSE, EC, they 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 used to produce a lot of, you know, syntactical errors and all is there in their question paper. So from where you will be solving AI machine learning question. For this particular uh, part of this DA paper, that is AI machine learning, I recommend you that you go and follow different courses that is being offered related to AI machine learning on different IITs. So if if you take any IIT, suppose IIT Kharagpur, IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, you will find there are a lot of machine learning courses that are being offered in different departments. Even the CSE department also, there are a lot of you know machine learning courses that are being offered uh, both in undergraduate level and on the postgraduate level, like for masters and PhD. Uh, by different professors. So all of the, those machine learning courses has a very well organized course website that is there in online. So try to go there, visit those website and try to see what are the assignment questions that is being asked. What are the midterm questions? What are the class test quizzes are being asked? Most of the questions you will find, you know, many of them are multiple choice like MCU type question paper. So try to solve those questions. Because, you know, first of all, they are set by IIT professors, so they are standard questions. And you will find many search, search uh, course web pages. Like, I, I can I can tell you in IIT Kharagpur, there are three or four uh, professors used to offer uh, machine learning courses uh, in, in, in different semesters. Like, for if you take last five years, you will find two to three or four machine learning courses in CSE department uh, for, uh, related to machine learning AI, which is being taught by different professors. So you'll find many search course web pages in different IITs and all of those assignments, quizzes, uh, midterm question paper, their solution is also available. Those are uploaded in the in the course website. So try to solve those question paper and try to see the answer. Many of these courses are even online, even available online in the NPTEL also. So they are it will be even more organized, like all weekly assignments, everything will be given there. So I would recommend you that you try to follow those courses because those courses uh, that is uh, offered for the undergraduate or master's level students in IITs, they are kind of, again, the gold mine of different types of questions for machine learning and AI. And hopefully those kind of patterns will be repeated in the GATES uh, paper also because GATES paper will be organized by all the IITs, not only ISC, all the RITs. So that's why it's those kind of patterns you can you can expect in the in the in the in the final exam. So that's why I'm telling that for AI machine learning, those courses that is being offered in I different IITs, try to follow them. And now I'll show you few of such uh, courses, and I, I I'll just show you few of them, but you can explore as much as possible. Okay, so here I will show you a couple of uh, such uh, courses at their website. Uh, so both of these uh, courses are actually from uh, IIT Kharagpur CSC department. So this is CS60050 machine learning course. This is taken by Professor Aritya Hajra. So and these are TAs. So if you just go down here, so these are different you know topics that is being covered here uh, in this uh, in this course. But the important thing is uh, you know midterm questions and solution that you will get, and end semester also question and solution that you will get. 
And if you op open the question paper, so then you will find that a sample question paper where, you know, a lot of questions has been asked, so you're, you're in decision tree learning, Bayesian learning, uh, the first one was the concept learning. So these kind of questions that you will find here, and there are many, you know, s s uh, kind of short questions also is there. Um, maybe they are not MCQ, but uh, short questions that also you can you can see. Perceptron is there, logistic regression, neural network based question is there. So all of these topics are actually there in the gate syllabus, and you are getting these questions as free. Uh, and if you solve this question, and then you know you should see the solution, you can uh, verify whether your concept is you know okay or not. And one more uh, such uh, course is uh, this. And the same course, but uh, which is uh, previously taught by Professor Pavitra Mitra. So this is uh, the website of that course. So it, it is the same course, but as I said, that many people, many professors used to teach in different semesters or different years. So this was the web page uh, or course website managed by Professor Pavitra Mitra. He is also from CSE IIT Kharagpur. And these are the topics that he has uh, had taught in his time. And here also you will find a lot of homework assignments midterm and uh, end same uh, question paper is there and you know different assignments is there so all of these question paper you can you can you can you know you can you can you can check and and you can see, uh, try to solve them so for example like if i see the mid of 2019 so yeah this was the question paper these are different kind of question that is being asked so e any of these question can come in the get syllabus also with a multiple uh, MCQ type question or or something like that. So yeah, these are complete question paper that is there. So try to solve these questions, and there are I you know there are many such uh, course website that will be available for different other other IITs. So I highly recommend you that you go and check those websites, and if you find some question paper from midterm quizzes or end term or different assignments you are getting, try to solve them so that you have a rough idea about what kind of question or the pattern of question that is that will be asked for machine learning in AI domain. So yeah, that's it about this video. So I hope this video will be helpful for all the aspirants who is aspiring for DA paper in GATE 2024. And I have received a lot of messages from you guys that you are not able to solve enough amount of uh, questions from for, for DA paper because there is not enough amount of question paper available in the market uh, because there is no previous question paper and you know, you are not getting enough paper from the coaching institution also. I hope these resources, what I have told you, will be helpful for you because all of these is just standard and it's 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 it will be very helpful for you to validate your understanding if you solve this question paper and see the solution that is provided. So yeah, let me know if you have any comments or query or if you have any other question also, that also you can ask me in the comment section. You can connect me in the LinkedIn, Instagram. There is a Telegram uh, channel also that I that I that I run. And so there are a lot of uh, students are there. They used to ask me question there also. So all of the links are there in the channel description. I would I would include it in the uh, video description as well. And don't forget to hit the like button if you have liked it and share this video to other people also to different gate aspirants so that they also get benefit from from this video. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video you will get instant notification. That's it about this video. I'll be in the next video. Until then, bye.